Well, this is day five of five from Redcliffe to home via the M1 motorway. Yeah. Didn't take any pictures of the unit. Diddle fiddle. See, there's supposed to be a Redcliffe Rugby League Club here because they want to get into the NRL in 2023, I think. I don't even know where that is. Yeah, apparently it's very wealthy. So it's supposed to be between the Redcliffe Dolphins, Ipswich Jets, and the Brisbane Bombers. And the Brisbane Bombers is not affiliated with any suburb or town like the other two and they reckon they're going to give it to the Brisbane Bombers which I think it's a big mistake the thinking is they give it to the Brisbane Bombers anybody that doesn't support the Broncos will support the Bron Brisbane Bombers but if they give it to the Dolphins it'll only be the Redcliffe people if they give it to the Jets it'll only be the Ipswich people that's their thinking but I don't agree with that. I don't agree with it at all. It's like um, comparing Redcliffe to uh, one of the suburban teams from Sydney. It'll have its following and it'll be much more tribal if they give it to something that's established. They've tried it with the Gulf Coast Titans. I mean, how long has it been there? Bloody 20 odd years or however long it's been there. And it's their third go at it. It's never really taken off. Anyway, we decided we'd follow the coastline as far as we can till we hit the Gateway Bridge. Bit of a mist or something out there. reading a report yesterday about a uh, reminded me of um, um, in South Australia on the border of South Australia and Victoria in early last year so over, well over 12 months ago um, family was riding along there was a husband and wife the wife was driving they had two kids in the back they had a 16 year old daughter and a, another kid younger kid uh, driving along 
and they saw a snake on the road. And they kept driving past it. And the 16-year-old daughter said, oh, turn around, turn around. I didn't see it. I want to see it. I want to see it. So mum, mum and dad said, yeah, all right, we'll turn around. So they turned around. They'd driven back and it turns out it wasn't a snake at all, it was a bit of rubber from a tyre, from a truck tyre. So they've went to turn, do a U-turn again to continue their journey and a big semi-trailer's come along and cleaned them up and uh, killed the 16-year-old daughter and severely injured the ch other child who had lived and the mother and father got minor injuries and the truck driver got minor injuries. Anyway, it went to court. And the magistrate, in summing up, said it was just a tragic accident. The mother's suffered enough. She's not going to go to jail. He's given her a two-year suspended jail, wholly suspended jail sentence and a two-year loss of licence. This was one of those things you say at, at the time you don't want to drive and etc etc and time goes by and you heal your wounds and you think well <laughs> little peach I'm not going anywhere till I'm ready <coughs> neither are you Pretty drive along here. And the new Red Cliff Bridge certainly better than the rickety old wooden one that was here for years. Well, we thought we'd take a detour to Sandgate and do the sightseeing tour. Nice houses here. Yeah, so certainly made use of the verandas, some of the houses. I haven't let you pass. Come on, keep going. This joint on the right. Imagine real estate would be cheap here. It's nice. No. No one's out. Look at the place. Oh, 
doesn't look like it. Looks like it's empty. Nearly home. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. See you in the next one.